All right, so so this video will show you how to answer the exercise one binary and ASCII. So let's look at the question. So decode the following ASCII code. Convert the binary numbers to decimal number. So it's just tell you. Let's give you a hint. Then look up the ASCII table to find the corresponding symbols. So on your test, you pretty much don't have the hint. So you have to know where the decode the following ASCII code mean. Look at this and look at ASCII table. So ASCII table will be given on the test. So now we're going to open ASCII table. You may see that this binary is not showing on the table. You probably have to convert this to either decimal or hexadecimal. Whatever that way you prefer. And the easiest way is convert to hexadecimal. So 0111 in hexadecimal is going to be Let's start to look at this is 7 bits, right? So this is going to be 0100 and 0111. To convert that, we have to split this into every 4 bits, right? So 0100 and 0111. So I use the spaces to separate them. This is giving you a letter, and I make it as 8 bits too, right? Because we want to look at 4 bit and 4 bit for hexadecimal. So this could be 4 or 100. Correct? And how do we get 4? So we, if we remember, there are two ways to get 4. One way we have the table that we say this is zero in decimal, this is binary, and this is zero in hexadecimal. And we get to 0100, we have four, right? So this is the table that we say we just keep increasing it into 15 for decimal, and hexadecimal is to F. This is from last lecture, that how we create this, just so you can review the previous video from week one or chapter one. Now, that means if I look at 0100, I get four. If I look at 0111, I get seven. That's 47. Okay, that's one way how to convert, right? Binary to hexadecimal, not decimal. If you do this way, it's hexadecimal because you split every four, right? Another way to convert this is we use the exponents, right? And let me show you. Like for example, O one O O pretty much is we have the number bits, right? So this is going to be two to the zero exponents two because bits two, right? Two to the power of zero exponent, and this is going to be two to the power of one exponent, right? If I split this a little bit, then it's line up, and then this is going to be two to the power of two exponent, and this is going to be last one is going to be two to the power of three exponents. Make sure I make it line up to its own exponents. So like that. So now, how do we know we get four? We say two to zero times zero, right? So that's how we convert, correct? 2 to the 1 times 0, and 2 to the 2 times 1, and 2 to the 3 times 0. 
So if I say 0 times 2 to the 3, what do you get? Uh, whatever times 0, we get 0, right? So we get 0 for that part. And then we going to say plus, so we get add, right? Which is 1 times 2 to the 2 and 0 times 2 to the 1 and 0 times 2 to the 0, right? That's what we're going to do. And then we sum it up, then we get the answer, which should give you 4. Okay. All right, so we keep doing that and now after we sum this, it's gonna give you four. Because two to two is four plus one times one is four, so we get four here. So that's another way, right? By looking beside looking at this table. So if you have applied the same concept to O one 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 you should get 7 out. So let's try that. So let me just copy this and showing you. So instead of 0100, we just say 0111 and they have it on number base, right? 2 to 0. Now instead of times with 0, it's going to be times with 1 and 1. 2 to 0 times 1 is going to be 1, right? So and then 2 to the 1 times 1 is going to be two so and two to two times one is gonna be four. And if you add four plus two plus one it's giving you seven. So that's how we get forty seven. Alright, so I show you two ways, right? Now I'm going to speed up this a little bit, okay, since you already know how to do this. I'm gonna take this but I'm going to use the table on my left hand instead of doing the number exponents and adding. So it's, this one is going to be 4 and 0101 is going to be 5, right? <coughs> Again, these are hexadecimal. Like in the hint may ask you to do decimal, you don't have to. If you know how to come to hexadecimal, it might be faster. And this is going to be what? 4F, right? Because hexadecimal 1111 is F. And let's try again. I split to every 4 bits, right? 0101 is what? 5. 0010, 2, 52. Let's do this one. So 0100 is 4, right? 0111 is 7, 47. And this looks like... So we're adding more 0 to make it 8 bits. Because every hexadecimal that we want to convert has to be every four bits. So 0100 is four bits. And 1001 is nine, right? 49. <laughs> and last one. O one O O is four and this is forty one. Now once we get all the hexadecimal, then we start to look up an ASCII table <coughs> to see what is the correspondence letters for the hexadecimal numbers. Like forty seven Look at hexa, okay, not decimal. If you happen to look at decimal, 
you will make mistake. G, right? 47 is G. So it's capitalized G too. Make sure uppercase, lowercase meaning different. How about 45? E. <coughs> now can we guess what's the word is gonna be? O, right? 4F is O. I'm looking at answer table down there. 4F O on the hexadecimal columns, right? Because this is a hexadecimal number. 52. Oh, let's put it side by side. <coughs> R, that's right. So that's how you start to decode, right? 47 is G. 49, I, 41, A. So we just decode that binary numbers into the word George here. And that's how we do it. So the second question is, you see the ASCII table will be given at the bottom beside, look up here, right? And the, Two to zero is one, and so on. Is also given for these scenarios, right? That you need to convert. All right. Second question asks you to write an ASCII. I uh, given the ASCII word, which is computer, and we want to use eight bit. We want to convert this into binary. And make sure eight bits leftmost bits gonna be already zero. Just like the one that pending earlier, zero, right? So how do we do that? Like I said, if you prefer to use decimal, then you have to convert decimal to binary. If you prefer to use hexadecimal, convert hexadecimal to binary, right? Just make sure pick one and not get confused. <laughs> If it just get confused, you're not gonna get George here. You're gonna get something else and not good on your score. Okay, so <coughs> we gotta pick hexadecimal again because it's the easiest way. C, capitalized C is gonna be 43. I pick hexadecimal 43. Oh, you can use this. If you use this table, it's always gonna be. Yeah, let's see. Hexadecimal. Let's see, hex. It should be the same. 43 is Z. Hex. You look at hex. Right there. Right symbol Z. Right. Alright, so I'm gonna put 43 and O is 4F. Alright, O is 4F. M is 40. P is 50. U is 55. Am I skipping? C O M P is fifty. U is fifty five and T now. T is fifty four. E forty five R is fifty two. Right by looking up this table, right? Hexadecimal. So let's verify 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I should have set up a hexadecimal number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <coughs> Alright, now we convert hexadecimal to binary. And if you use this table, I mean, if, if you want to start to draw your table on before the test starts, then you can do so. I mean, when the test starts. Then we can have four. Four is what? O one O O. Oops. And 
So, 0100.